That was an interesting night. There was quite a bit of snoring from one or two individuals. But gee God, could they fill a room? So that was a wee bit rough. And then people started leaving really, really early. I think the first guy got up to leave at, I'm gonna say about half one. Crazy. And then by 3.30 it started a, a real trickle. By 5 a.m. I don't know if it's just their first time on a Camino or something. But they did not give one hoot about noise, about flashing their torches around the place, talking. Thank you. Well, they did. They talked quietly, but it was still talking. So, I was trying to lie in so that I had a bit of daylight for going down the other side of the hills today. I'm about to leave the village in Fon to head to Molinaseca, which means I'll be going up to Cruz de Ferro first, and then another wee hill after that, and then apparently it's a sharp downhill, which means you can sometimes travel further, but you could also do your legs damage. And I found myself having a very clicky knee um, in the middle of the night. Just at a certain point, it got to them and click. And that was a wee bit of a, a worry, but probably age more than anything else. So we're getting up to the last light up ahead. There's a lot of pilgrims out in front of me, a lot of the Italians. So I was hoping I'd see Cruz de Ferro in a wee bit better light, but I might stop there for a wee while. I'll say that and then I know I won't, but it's one of those monuments, one of those landmarks on the Camino that I, I'll see when I get there, even if it's just sitting and listening for a wee while, but otherwise I'll just keep going. Got a headlamp on me anyway, so I'll be able to see the ground. I'll be able to see the route because there's other pilgrims out in front with their head torches on. There'll be other ones coming behind me here, walk a bit faster. So, um, you know, the best thing about getting up early is the stars in the sky. It really is. Sleeping out's maybe not the worst idea sometimes, especially whenever it's this warm. I put on a long sleeve top as well this morning just to try and save me from the cold air but it's not really that cold it's still warm but once I get going and if I get sweaty then it might feel very different so I so just earn the side of caution put on a long sleeve so it can't keep warm er and Wow, you can see the Milky Way. Sorry. I'm just going to get lost here in the stars and probably trip over something. Right, one Christopher.
last time with the payments. Just this mind of ours, appearing out of nowhere. Cruise to Faro. Big wooden pole with a small iron cross at the top and years and years and years, decades, possibly centuries of stones that have been left by people. So that's me too have left my rock at the top of the Crucifero. Um it's extremely still up here. And other than people talking to each other, it's also extremely quiet. Just, just heard some birds. Um that's the first other noise other than the Italians. But for a while there they were extremely quiet too. Stars are still amazing. So it's time to head downhill a wee bit and then back up a slightly taller hill. Or is it? Can't remember. Might not be. But it's still another hill before we start heading down. So let's go do that. Hopefully the headlamp battery is going to be okay. 
And we've got a while yet before it runs out, so let's keep going. I'm taking a risk by walking on the road for a wee while. Um, more so because it takes less concentration. It's so quiet you hear cars coming and there hasn't been one car yet this morning. But if you're walking along the path over to that side, you're watching every single step and really having to concentrate. So right now this is the safer option really um, to avoid any twisted ankles and it's nice and flat so always appreciated it's very smooth decline and then i can see the outline of the hill ahead which we'll have to go back up to but thankfully like we're only dropping about 100 meters and going back up 100 meters or something like that so it should be okay Someone else must have been uh... Is that better for you? Yeah. Someone else must have been walking along the road as well. I found someone's hat just lying. Just probably falling off their, their bag as they were walking. You know, it's forward. Just walking with light off for the time being. Um, a wee bit of light from the front camera on this, but uh, yeah, it's just nice to be in the dark walking. I can still hear everything, I can hear the Italians quite a bit behind me just chanting, so I'm not too worried that I won't hear a car, especially on these hills. The car will be in a high gear, you'll hear the rev. Um, I'm sticking to the road as well. I know the path is off to my right somewhere, lower than the road, going through trees, but uh, this is quite nice for the time being. And I found somebody's hat, which they could be sitting having a coffee in some village and be able to pass it on to them. It's not an expensive one, but all the same, give it back. Right up. Back on the path again, and there's been a few cars screaming up the road, and um, it is getting to that time where people are going to work, probably in Astorga, or they're going to Pomferrata, so they're cutting through. Ooh, chilly bit. I had really hot pockets, and there's a really nice chilly bit. It's quite nice. Anyway, um, so yeah. Thought I might just go back to the path, see if it continues to follow the road, and if so, I may join back onto it again if it quietens down. But if not, then I'll stick to the path and be a sensible boy. I think this is where the, there's a knight, the last knight of the Templars, as he would coin himself, is living. A lot of this part is quite heavily overgrown. So when I stop, I'm going to have to check the legs and see if there's any ticks on them. We're heading back uphill again. I had been coming down for a bit. Um, there's the telecoms towers. So uh, hopefully not too far to go. And then it's downhill all the way.
site. Sticking to the road though, uh, it is longer. Uh, watch the pilgrim path off to my right and it goes straight up and over this hill. So it's a more direct route for once. Whereas the road comes round the side of the mountain top and uh, brings you, hopefully we'll join up together on the other side here. But you can see the faint outline of hills in the distance. I'm guessing that's Galicia and Osaribo. Which, although aren't as high as the altitude today, it's the it's the steepness of the walk that makes it more difficult. Today was relatively straightforward, you know, even walking uphill for a few days. And um, it means whenever you do get to it, it's not it's not that steep. But long steep climbs, oh they're a killer. They're a killer. So yeah, I can see the outline of the, the hills in the distance. Which looks spectacular to me. I don't know if it shows up on camera. It's very, very hazy sky out there. But um looks spectacular but also fills me with a little bit of dread as to what's to come on my next trip back to Spain to continue my Camino journey. I can hear voices of pilgrims off to my right. I can see the pilgrim path ahead off to the right as well, swerving round. So at some point I'm sure the two of us will meet together again. And I might even find the owner of the hat. If not, I've got a new hat. So there's the Camino path down there for the pilgrims. Which looks absolutely shocking. I'm going to stick to the road. <laughs> it looks such a mess. <laughs> Guess that's Ponferrado way down there. You see just the sort of wee mound in the middle, and there's a city just off to the side of it, which spreads around there. So I can see pilgrims down ahead of me. Um, they may have been walking the road or the path. I'm thinking I'm going to join onto the path again. I'm guessing the path is going to go up around the side of this mountain hill. Harley Mountain, um, rather than following the road the long way round this time and see how it goes. That looks like a gradual incline, so let's see it. whole site is let down by stuff like that. People even bog road. And even up behind that little bush, someone's gone for a squat, left tissue lying, wet wipes it is actually. Disgusting. Take your litter home with you. Leave no trace. This stuff is just as hard going down as it was going up. Um, it's all over the place. So you're a very slow, considered walk. Your knees are already sore. This is just adding to it. Oh. It's hard work. The view is nice, but you can't really enjoy it that much whenever you're having to look down at the ground the entire time.
is hard going too. <laughs> You're trying to take such tiny steps, but everything's downhill. No exaggeration. Notice I'm not wearing the hat. Turned out it was it was a father and son at the table beside me having no at the same table as me having dinner last night. And um I just seen him in the street there and asked his son. His father wandered off, probably looking for coffee. There's only one place open in town. And uh the Tostadas was rye bread. It's a very vegetarian place. Um, she wanted bread. Bread? Not rye bread. Fussy? Yeah. Um, is that hungry? No. Um, I probably should have had a coffee. But what I am going to do is find somewhere to sit down and change into a t shirt because I'm sweltering in this long sleeve top now. But it's good to return things to people that they've lost. Especially when they think they're gone. And that's it. They're not going to see them again. Now the sun's getting up higher. It's getting warmer. <laughs> <laughs> really steeply down. Um, let's sit up there. I don't know if the camera actually even shows how steep this is, but you really got to be careful. Good God. Um, if you can remember, take the road. If you're if you're watching these and wondering what it's like, take the road. Um, this is this is not good and it's dry. Um, when it's wet or icy, it could be much, much worse. Um, I would wouldn't say this is safe. Um, I'm gonna try going down sideways. At least if you're on the road and you get hit by a car, it's probably only going to do 20 mile an hour going up there. And. You're more likely to get an ambulance along here yeah, just before somebody notices you've hurt yourself and you've fallen. And if you have a heavy backpack on and you're on your front, you could be stuck. Anybody that's got sore knees is in trouble with this. I just had a click. Noticed that, that I noticed last night. Now I'm, I'm sh pretty sure I'm gonna have more than just a click. Get the fly off the camera. <sighs> this is risky and it just keeps going. Slowly, slowly, slowly.
sort of ridge of rock the whole way down. Just keep. Yeah, I stopped and I was trying to get a few clips just to set the scene of where we are. And um, ran out of SD card space. So I've taken the SD card out of my drone, which I'm not getting to use at all because there's so many no fly zones here. So um, stuck it in. So I've got loads of space now. Probably should have done that days ago and used it first instead of transferring all of the stuff off that I did have, putting it on my phone and filling my phone up. But like, this is quite cool. There's a whole wall there. Natural wall. And then there's a lot, big drop as well down the other side. Which also very cool along here is that I'm um, just on the edge of the village. There's a load of tree, trees, fruit trees. So there's uh, black currants, there are plums, there's apples. I think there might have been a pear tree. Um, but it's, it's just nice to see that sitting for free use outside of the village on common ground. Um, whether that's for the pilgrims, I don't know, but they did not look like they were in season, so I wasn't for picking any. But you also find there's loads of raspberry bushes along the way as well. Very, very small berries. Or blackcurrant ones, or blackberry ones, are they? So there's some raspberry ones before as well, not those ones. But um, they're very, very small, which is probably because of the lack of water. I don't know if that means they're extra juicy or not. But, right, I'm going to concentrate on this path in front of me before I have an accident. Sweet chestnuts as well. God, you, you really just have a garden here on the path. The the family that um passed by me earlier on there, they're actually stopped back up there eating um any of the blackberries they can get their hands on. Um a wee bit dodge on it. I just have to keep in mind there's only about four and a half kilometers left to do for today to get them on the Seca and uh, then I can rest. My knees are sore. They really are. Um, so I think as soon as I get in I will get them sprayed with magnesium. Try and get them to rest a wee bit. We did have a small section there along the road, and it's a good thing I checked because I was considering just sticking with the road, but um, it doesn't go the same way. It goes way out of, and wouldn't have got to where I was heading to. So glad I checked the route. Stay safe. Stay on target. Hopefully this stays like this and doesn't become an absolute mess. Fingers crossed at least.
thankfully this is the end of it for today. I just need to find somewhere to sleep and eat and wash and wash my clothes because of the top that I was wearing this morning and this which is now stinking as well. And my underwear and my socks all need washed and dried. So might need to take a wee breather, have a look and see where's recommended before I start knocking on doors. It's still early as well, so they might not even be accepting any pilgrims until after 12 o'clock. Um, downside of starting really early, it is 11 in the morning. <laughs>